Okay, so in this lesson I'm going to show you how to do um, an orthographic drawing of your tic-tac-toe. First of all, make sure you've got a little bit of sellotape and a little bit of blue tack, and you're going to attach your page to your board, just making sure that it's nice and secure because they do move around a little bit. So, get that in place. You only need a little bit, you need to be able to get it off the board at the end of the lesson. Okay, so down the side of the, um, the board, you've got um, measurements down the side. You're going to be given one of these rulers to help you draw and put into these slots here. So they run up and down and try and give you a little bit of ease on when drawing um, the horizontal line. Okay, so your tic-tac-toe that you have made, you are going to be drawing it onto this piece of paper. Obviously, looking at this, this piece of paper, this tic-tac-toe is very, very, the little tic-tac-toe is very, very big. It only just fits on the piece of paper. So what I'm doing is I'm drawing it on A to the like, well, A4 paper, just so that it doesn't look, it's not too hard for you to handle. And obviously we've got the drawing boards in A4, so it makes it a little bit easier for you to manage. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is going to tackle the external parts of the tic-tac-toe game. So the measurement of this tic-tac-toe game is 125mm by... 125 mil. Okay, so it's a complete square. And if I if I look at the orthographic drawing here, it needs to be right down at the bottom because I need to be able to draw a side view above this, uh, just above it. Right. So right down at the bottom, what I would like you to do is draw a line of 125. So I'm going to draw in pen. When you are drawing with yours, please make sure that you draw in pencil so that um, you can move out any errors. So, 125. Okay, and you are going to stop there. So, 12 and a half, 125. Make sure you start using um, millimetres if you can. So, from there, I'm going to then drop up. 125. And then I'm going to stop. I'm going to use this. Help me draw across. Check how long we need to go. Okay. And stop, and then I'm going to draw that line up there. Okay, so that's 125. is um, basically the front of my tic tac toe game with none of the detail in the middle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw from the corners up, I'm going to draw some construction lines. So construction lines are dotted lines that are used to help you um, basically make sure that your drawings are correct and make it a little bit easier. So if you don't use these, your next drawing will, you'll have to start drawing it and it'll be a little bit harder. So from the side, I'm going to draw it from this view here. I know it's going to be 125 this way, but upwards it's going to be 4 centimetres, which is 40 millimetres, okay? So, only just going to fit on the page. I'm going to draw up 4. I'm then going to use my um, engineering ruler. I'm going to draw across to my construction lines that I drew, make it a little bit easier. And across to my construction lines, and then okay so as you can see it's a little bit of a tight squeeze but it's a little bit easier to use um, this type of paper and not on the paper okay so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create construction lines going to the side obviously we've got a lot more room this side so it's not as important that we squeeze it in but there's no point wasting space Okay, so we're drawing from this side now. We know that this is 4, and we know that this is 1, 2, 5. So I'm just going to again use this to draw my first line.
what I've got is my first couple of views. So I've got my front view, my top view and my side view. Okay? So when we look at the side of our box, we can see a little bit of detail, but most of the detail is on this section here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work out what this is here. So I'm going to do 15, 15 mil border around the whole of my design. So what I'm going to do on my drawing, I'm going to draw 15 and 15, making sure that you do two lines so that you're the line is going to be as close as it can be to being correct. One, two, one, two, and then two from the bottom as well. One, two. Right, so first of all, I'm going to make sure that I I've drawn the ones that are easiest to draw, so I'm going to draw this one for the first one. engineering ruler I am going to draw this in pencil and then rub away the excess okay to make it a lot easier for me. I'm going to draw it in pencil. to do my external border I've done all the sections in the middle and I've done my top view and my side view so what I'm going to do now is just make sure I go over it with my uh, black pen leaving out any data or information that I don't need in there so I'm going to stop and start afterwards I can move out the pencil Okay. 
Okay, so that is the first part of the orthographic drawing.